hey hello friends hope everyone doing good actually i am not feeling well so i was not able to upload any videos more than a week apologies for that so one of the friend requested to publish videos relevant to s4 hana because nowadays s4 hana is that uh, required mandatory for every consultant and every company is slowly moving from sap ecc to sap s4 hana suit and we should have some experience in s4 hana project if we don't have experience also we should know that uh, basis of s4 hana and uh, what are the changes that has been carried out relevant to s4 hana sales that means s4 hana sales and distribution model wise so we should know about these sd related changes and all so in upcoming sessions we'll discuss about those only s4 hana sales only the key changes and what should we remember and uh, how it will impact the new changes in s4 hana compared to dcc today i'm not going to discuss anything uh, specifically but i am going to explore s4 hana system the key changes in s4 hana system what we need to do what we need to check immediately when we log in the s4 hana system to confirm that whether we are in s4 hana system or not now let's get started so i am in s4 hana system i have logged in so i'm going to the system in the menu then click on status and you see here s4 hana works based on the hana database that is hdb database system and if you check ecc data systems it might work on hdb hana database or it might work on sybase or oracle or some other database system okay and one more thing is that schema you see here the schema is sap hana db this is also one of the important thing that we should keep in our mind so these two things database system and schema you can find in ecc system also but it doesn't mean that ecc also has for a system that ecc system might be using hana database right and to to make it more convincing that we are in s4 on a system what else we can check here is that click on this uh, details button after that product version click this one so here we can see that sap basis version is 7.754 means 7.54 release and one more thing that we can check is that s4 core you don't see this component in ecc system we can see this in only in the s4 hana system and uh, if i scroll little down i can see so many changes and one more thing i can see that s4 core on premise you see one more component with the release 104 so every component has different releases available and different different service pack also sp level means service pack so s4 core op and s4 core and sap basis version is 7.54 or more than that that's one thing and if i click this installed product versions here also i can see that s4 hana on premise 1909 release 19 is nothing but year 2019 09 is month september and we can see sap fiery front end server sap s4 hana foundation and also these components we can see in only in the s4 hana system only right so what should we remember first the database the schema and the basis version and s4 core s4 core op and come to the product version that is an s4 hana s4 hana on premise so these things we should remember okay 
and a few more things that we should remember coming to s4 on a sales sales distribution model the first table that we should get in our mind is that konv has been replaced see i am in konv table in sc 16 in transaction code you see it is saying that it's an obsolete it's replaced by prcd elements in ecc you see this table konv still but in s4 ana it will be saying that it has been obsolete so the table is available in s4 ana system konv table is available but if, if i click number of entries nothing will be stored here if i create any order invoice anything no changes will be updated into this konv table the table is required in s4 ana system as well for some declaration purpose only because there are some old codes written by sap itself based on some konv structures and all so to maintain the structure attributes sap wants to keep this table alive but no changes will be stored into this konv table so tables will be there but it won't be no use at all no nothing will be stored here konv so it is replaced with by prcd elements table here i can see entries okay and one more table that has been replaced i mean introduced basically is that matdoc so this matdoc table is relevant to material documents related table and uh, this is combina of a combination of multiple other database tables and coming to one more ac doca this is finance related database table this is also replacing several other tables almost ten to i mean uh, bkpf bseg right bsid so many tables has been replaced with one table fine and if i go to the table vbak so in sorry vbap so one more change that we can see in s4 is that, that the length of the material has been increased from 18 characters to 40 characters in ecc the length of material is 18 characters but in s4 ana it became 40 so you see the mat num you see this material field matner if i double click here you see the length is 40 now it was earlier 18 only now it became 40 and uh, we can see vb uk table but we see nothing in vbuk table because vbuk vbup header status table item status table has been obsolete in s4 hana those fields whatever the field we see in vbuk table has been updated into vbuk table okay let me show you that so if i go to vbuk and let me check the first field rf stk in vbak table you see the field here is now that means the status also will be recorded in vbak table the fields whatever the fields that we see in vbuk table has been added to vbak table and coming to vbup table fields added to vbap table so in upcoming sessions we will detail discuss about this database table changes and this is one change and uh, if i go if i open any of the database table let me open uh, um, vbak only if you see here in the technical settings i see one extra tab db specific properties as a functional consultant we might not aware of this in ecc system also but it's good to know if in if in if in the any interview if they ask you about that uh, 
what changes that you see in the system means you can highlight these points okay let me tell you one more time i'm going to the table vbak any table not only vbak any table you will see the same settings uh, click this technical settings then go to db specific properties this tab has been added additionally in s4 on a system this tab you don't see in ec system so here you see three options column store row store and defined the most advantages of introducing s4 hana is that column store that means storing of the data in the database table happens column wise not row wise so row wise is a possible but if you store the data in column wise means there will be more advantage and the retrieval of the data from the database table is it will be faster and the performance will be increased our query will be resolved very easily so many advantages are there by default every table has been enabled with column store only but we can still change it to row store so this tab we go we don't see in ecc system this is the one of the additional feature we have received in s4 on a system and we see one more tab here index so in the this tab also we don't see in ecc system and some other changes like uh, if i try to click on xd01 it's in a company code creation t code right not uh, customer creation t code for the company perspective see it is redirecting to another window business partner window if you click okay it's going to another window it's a bb transaction code same thing if i try to open vd01 again it will go here only you see similar way vd02 same thing will happen if i click take any customer and click okay it will be displayed in bb transaction code only you see it came to bb transaction code so like this uh, generic t codes like xd01 xd02 xd03 vd01 vd02 vd03 and fk01 fk02 everything has been replaced by bb only so even though we enter vd02 you see here we are getting some message in the bottom saying that redirecting to transaction bp as transaction vd02 is obsolete so like this we have several changes in s4 on a system but we can't discuss everything in one class so in upcoming sessions we'll discuss in detail about a uh, step by step what changes has been carried out in the sap sd pricing level and what changes has been carried out in that uh, available check level and uh, contracts output determination so step by step functionality wise area wise in sd level we see the differences of s4 on a changes thanks everyone thanks for for following my channel we'll meet in the next video